Hello everyone. Uh, got the uh, rack mount for the y-axis put on. A couple things that I wanted to review. Uh, basically from a positioning standpoint, if you bring your gear rack flush with the end uh, of the gantry here, uh, you'll have the right positioning to allow full travel back and forth on the gear rack without any issues. The uh, Rack and pinion mounting system here for the servo or for the steppers can be mounted left or right. Uh, in this particular case, I've mounted it with the gear to the left hand side. If you were to reverse this and mount it the other way, then your gear rack would have to come up to flush to this side. Now, one thing I found out it's a little difficult getting these clamps on. Um, the bolts that are supplied are just the right length to, to make sure that we don't have anything sticking up here. And because these are press fits, when you put the bolts in, put this on top, uh, basically there's no thread sticking up for you to start the nut on. So what I did was took like an Allen wrench or something to push the uh, bolt up so I can get a couple threads started. Now, after you get the thread started, what you might want to do, uh, and what I did was I took a brass hammer and uh, gave it a good wrap on both sides and in the center to seat it in a little bit. Um, prior to that, what I try to do is torque this down with just you know a partial thread on here, and I literally stripped this one thread out, so I had to replace that bolt. Um, so yeah, uh, you're going to want to get the thread started, and then to keep it from moving, use a brass mallet or something to tap it down a little bit, so you can get at least one full thread turn before you start torquing it down. And then while waiting, I mean when I was finishing clamping this down then what I did was I used some clamps with a rubber piece on the end to hold the, the rack up against the clamp so that it wasn't bowed in any way and then torqued them down um, the other issue I found was with the adjustment here the tor tension adjustment here for the uh, assembly they supply you with a, a socket head cap screw a washer and a spring uh, then there's another uh, bolt that goes underneath here to hold this in place. You have to make sure that this is kind of snug um, in a turned position. The issue that I had was that when you put this all together, you can see there's no way to get an Allen wrench in there to the uh, head of the uh, socket head cap screw. So the option was, of course, using a pair of pliers to try and tighten it up. Where what I did was I went out and I got myself a grade 8 bolt. It's a quarter 20 hex bolt with an inch and a quarter in length. Um, and that allowed me to get in here with a wrench from this side to, to tension this down. Now for my case also is my motors are a 14 millimeter shaft so I had to have these bored out to 14 millimeters and I just put this on here so that I can kind of turn things. The uh, setup also is that the shafts are about two millimeters longer I don't know if I can get enough light in there to see but um, it's just enough to clear the rack mounts though the belts do line up okay one's on the high side of one pulley one's on the low side of the other pulley but they do line up and they just clear <clears throat> probably by about thirty thousandths of the uh, rack lamps and so got those situations solved the uh, system here is all set up ready to go for the y-axis um, may have to tension it a little bit later you will have to tension this enough to get the slack out otherwise there might be a little bit of movement in the gear uh, but so far looks pretty good so that's where we're at on the y so it's uh, basically done um, so I'll review real quick what you get with the z-axis assembly in uh, one smart box you get the z-axis assembly box and in there you get two more extended rails the uh, lead screw nut the uh, motor mount was in, a, in, in the main box along with the steel for this and of course the aluminum extrusion was in the big boxes um, what you get also is package of bolts and these are real long extended bolts these are for mounting the extended carriages 
You get two shorter ones here, hex bolts for mounting the screw. A couple of socket head cap screws for mounting this uh, motor mount, which will go on the end of the aluminum extrusion. And then these are for mounting socket head cap screws for mounting the motor. Uh, also in there you get the lock washer, which will go on the lead screw, along with two sets of thrust bearings with washers. Then go in between, you get the bearing block that has a bearing inside, along with the uh, carriage bolts that you need to mount it to the aluminum extrusion. And then uh, these two bolts are then to bolt this housing together to cover up the bearing. So there's uh, uh, that plate and then the bearing housing, the bearings inside. The other thing uh, with the aluminum extrusion here, your lead screw may have wrapped and set down inside and taped it on so that it doesn't fall out. So that come well packaged and well, well covered, so no issues with the lead screw. So at this point, um, the y-axis is basically done. I'm ready to start assembling the z-axis. And after I get that done, I review it. And the last thing uh, to assemble is the uh, x-axis uh, gear racks and uh, rack and pinion system. Which, uh, when I do that, then I'll review how the rack and pinion system goes together. And talk to you later. Thanks for watching.